Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. I've been having a lot of fun with the Artist Loft Ready Mixed Pouring Paint. Now, just in case anyone doesn't know what this is, it is literally ready mixed pouring paint. You don't need to mix it with anything. You don't need to do anything. You can buy it directly from the store and then just go ahead and pour. Uh, this stuff comes from Michael's and I wanted to do a strainer pour with this particular paint because I haven't done that yet. So I'm using, this is a metallic white. I mixed up some of my own colors actually. I mixed the red and the blue and I made this. This is like a dark purple. It looks kind of black, but it's purple. Um, and then I have a little bit of this purple left. That's their purple. I only have a little bit left, so that's that. And then I'm going to use some blue. Also almost empty. And they've been sold out in most of the stores. And then I mixed up some green with the blue and the yellow. So I think these colors should go pretty well together. And I'm definitely going to add more white. And then I think a bit more of this darker purple that I mixed up. Okay, that should be good. So we're going to go ahead and just put this in the center and then just go ahead and pour. Pretty excited about these colors together. So for anyone that hasn't used this paint before, it is a little bit thicker than um, like my normal mixed pouring paints. It also dries super glossy. Um, and it also tends to hold uh, its pattern very well. Like it'll hold the lines that come in it. So that's why I thought it would look really cool with a strainer pour. And of course I'm going with peacock colors. I'm going to add a little more white here. Although there is definitely white coming out at the end. just want to lighten it up a little bit. We're just going to let this sit here and let it drain out for a while. And then we'll go ahead and see what we've got. All right, I'm going to go ahead and tilt this. So I really like this side with the lighter part. So I'm going to actually keep tilting it this way and run this corner off. There we go. I don't know why, but I basically never like it to be centered. <laughs> I like it to be off center. So. All right, we're going to go ahead and let that sit for a while and see if anything else develops. Then we'll come back and do our close-up. All right, so starting in the lower right-hand corner, you can see how glossy that is. Um, upper right-hand corner. Over to the upper left-hand corner. And then down to this funky lower left-hand corner. You can kind of see the metallic white there. So I'm not entirely sure how I feel about this piece. It's definitely interesting um, and I have an idea for actually how I could do this a bit better next time but it's pretty cool um, and I am kind of really excited to use this runoff paint for some awesome jewelry pieces because this is going to be really awesome paint. So let me know what you guys think. I'm definitely on the fence on this one. Um, and otherwise I will see you next time.